<clears throat> Hi, Pet. Um, there's a there's a narrative at the moment that not many other teams have got a chance of winning the Premier League while you're still in England. Um, I know you'll you'll deny that, but after four in four in four and six in seven, do you not feel that now you've you've conquered the Premier League that there's not much else left for you to achieve here? In the past, yeah. When you're six and seven, we conquer the Premier League, but they start from zero. It's uh, 140 points to play, so we start from zero, everyone, and we will see. So, if we want to conquer, we have to conquer again. Because they are not going to give us now the Premier League for the 24 25 uh, season. So, you have to do it. So, I understand, because normally when the people say we are favourites, we have to accept it. When you have one four in a row, six in seven, it's normal to accept that we are favourites. We have to live with that, but I know what you have to do. It's just point by point, must be must be win, and um, of course every season is more and more difficult. And I know you speak about your, the hunger of your players, but does your hunger remain the same? Does it ever change? Yeah. Does it ever diminish? The competition make me make me uh, be again in the position that I want to be. So when it's in the preseason, the one a little bit more flat. But the moment arrive the community shield, arrive the competition, you know, we have ignite something that in myself, hopefully the players as well, to to do it again. Uh, yeah, it's following on from well, it's similar to what Sai just asked. I didn't know he was going to actually, but um, when you've won so much and so regularly as you have, how do you personally? go into each season? Is it is it with a greater excitement each year? Is it under more pressure to follow each season's achievements? Is, is it harder as you get older to keep that same energy and enthusiasm? As you get older, do you think, make yeah, the most that, of it because how long does it last? You yeah, know? you said perfectly. This is the right word. If you don't have this enthusiasm or passion or desire, it's, don't be here. Don't stay in front of you. So that is the, the key on everything. So the, the the pressure is quite similar. I had for the day one. I would say a little bit less for the fact that you have done it. You give a sense of peace of yourself. But at the same time, if you believe thinking that uh, nothing happened, if you lose because we won already, you are not going to win or you are not going to do your job. And our job is when you do the proper things and you win, you live better. And the perspective is not leave the trophies during 11 months, 12 months of competition, live better. And live better is doing your, your life or your job or what you have to do at your highest point. Otherwise, if you believe that we have done it, we can be relaxed or whatever, we are not going to win. We are not being the top four. Because always, I, when the beginning of the season, the first target is going to top four. And the people say, ah, come on, but no. Newcastle is going to play one game. Uh, it's not a European competition, going to play one game a week. And the Newcastle one game a week, next season, this season will be the Newcastle the two seasons ago. And Arsenal has no necessity to talk about, Liverpool no necessity to talk about. I know with the signs of United at the end, they're going to take the moment, will be there. Tottenham, I'm pretty sure of that when they invest when with the young players, with the manager knows better. So there are a lot, a lot of team. Chelsea again with the a man of players, a quality, I believe, with the manager. So all the six, seven teams were there. If you drop a little bit, you'll be away. And it, this is the reality I felt for the first season I arrived here. And after, yeah, you prove ourselves we can do it. And it's try to do it again. It's simple. And is it about that the experience brings a sense of realism? Because there's this knee-jerk society where a big win and everyone says everything's great, a bad defeat and everyone yeah. says it's rubbish. Um, is it about realising that when you win, you're not as good as everyone says, and when you lose, you're not as bad as everyone says? Yeah, is it? As, as the point. I thought we saw Olympic Games in the last two weeks. Four years to competition for, you know, for, for one minute, ten minutes, or I don't know the competition it takes. And the glory and the glory is, you saw, for example, semi-final, Serbia against uh, and United States in basketball, one of the best games I've ever seen in basketball. Serbia are losers? They are not. So the silver medal or the bronze medal are losers? Absolutely not. So... You are a loser when you don't do what you have to do as best as you p possible. I know we need just, you know, big compliment for just just the winners, but it's not about that. So the problem is we want to see if still we have a desire to to compete. Everyone want to beat us. It's normal. So when you concur, when you concur in the Premier League the last years, everyone want to beat us in every stadium, in the FA Cup, in the 
Carabao Cup, in a Premier League, especially in Champions League, of course, is a bit different. It's normal, but okay. Look ourselves, what can do better? What can do better? What can do better as a team? Always we can improve, always. You have the desire to individually be better manager, or want to be better manager, and the players want to be better, and want to be better individually. If we increase everyone a little bit, a little bit, our weaknesses, we increase 11 players, you know? Our strength will be 11 times better. And this is the, the target that we have to, to be focused. Uh, if just is the satisfaction to leave the trophy, cannot be, because we won it already. So not change much, four or five Premier League, six, seven, seven Premier League, not change much. It's how individually we can be better as a football player to help to the team to be better. That will help us to stay there again and again. And of course, when we arrive in the last month, close, you know, to win another Premier League will will be the motivation. But now, motivation to win another Premier League is not there. For me, it's not there. We'll be in the last month. Now is can beat Chelsea last season, we could not beat them. You know, is that, can we, we practice this two, three weeks together, apply better and improve? It will not be a perfect game against Chelsea. We are not completely in our top. It's normal. It's completely normal. But the standards will be enough to, to, to win the game. That is the, 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 the point. Yeah, Pep, you, you Last time I saw you, you said you were very tired at the end of last season. I know you've been on tour, whatever, but you've had a good summer break. Do you feel completely different in yourself, like compared to May, the energy levels? Yeah, of course. Of course, we're at the end of the season. Always you are a little bit tired, but when you fight for the title, titles, you are less tired than you are on a chance. But of course, the, every, all of us, you know, when you take a break in your job, and disconnect a little bit, you bring energy back. So it's, it's necessary. So, you know, to, to, to work better, you have to disconnect. You have to relax your brain, your mind, and, and think on other things, and do on other things. Otherwise, I have a moment that it doesn't work. So I learned from before it was, no, well, I have to work. No, sometimes resting, you are working. You work better. That's interesting, disconnecting, because I, I know we, we, this season we're without Jurgen Klopp, because Jurgen, honestly, you know, he looked in the mirror and he decided that he couldn't disconnect, it was all or nothing. Is that a skill, though, that you've learned over the, the years? You, you're quite good at that, are you, to, to do that when you need to, to rest? Yeah, sometimes I'm tired. And in that moment, I don't work. I rest. And after rest, I'm ready to work harder and better. So... Because not all the times I'm happy, not all the times I have energy to to work the games. That's why I have a staff, a group of staff to help me, and I help them. So before it was not like that. Before it's now I have to do it, and it's not productive. So important is the moment you work, the moment you are in front of the players, the moment you have to take message or decision you have to take. You know, be you know, be I want to say the right word, relax or more concentrate. It's the same with the players. They give a lot of day off, a lot. They need it. With a lot of competition, I don't want a training when we play every three days. But the moment we are here, we have to be there. So the moment of the your, game, we have to. Sorry, is it your decision? Do you know yourself I need to rest? Or does it, is it your wife or someone says, Pep, you've got to give No, myself, myself. My people don't know if I'm tired or not tired. I know him. Finish your work? Obviously, you mentioned sort of shutting off and relaxing and getting away from football, but obviously over the summer you went back to Barcelona, obviously met up for dinner with some Barcelona B players, Barcelona C players, when yeah. you started out. Is it also good to look back on those things to, yeah, was, uh, you know, to see where you've come from? Yeah, it was so nice. Uh, 15, years, 15 years, the first time that uh, yeah, we won that league and, and we were promoted for the yeah, third division. So yeah, it was really, really nice to see all of them. Most of them are fathers, some divorce, um, <laughs> um, some retire, some still playing, the other one started to be managers. So I was really, really nice to spend these uh, four or five hours together. For After many, many years, we could not see them. Start from there, you know, all of, all of them were so young and, and yeah, it was really, really nice. Hopefully we can repeat quite often. Okay, thank you. Yes.